Yesterday at 3 p.m. the State Department released emails that were found on Anthony Weiner's laptop by the FBI last year. And after reviewing the emails, Tom Fitton of Judicial Watch discovered something incriminating about them. Anthony Weiner had previously served as a House of Representative for New York as a Democrat. Weiner was also convicted in a sex scandal and is currently serving 21 months in federal prison. He is married to Huma Obedin. Obedin was the former vice chair of Hillary's 2016 presidential campaign and was deputy chief of staff to Hillary while she was secretary of state. As reported by Fox News last week, Abedin's first cousin, Omar Emanat, and a colleague will face more than a decade in prison after a jury in New York City found the pair guilty of cooking the books and defrauding shareholders of a technology company. And if that is not bad enough, Huma's other first cousin, Ivran Emanat, was also arrested in the United Arab Emirates and faces charges of fraud with the same tech firm, as reported by the New York Post. Is it surprising Clinton surrounds herself with criminals? The bombshell emails were discovered on Huma's husband's laptop last year by the FBI. About a month before the November 8 election. Congress has been asking for the emails and have been stonewalled. Finally, Judicial Watch stepped in and saved the day. The 2,800 emails are now being picked through like a fine toothed comb. Dagger News first reported on the 2,800 emails in October when Judicial Watch tried to have them released by the State Department. Click here to read more. In an interview with Fox News, Tom Fitton of Judicial Watch said that it is a big team effort to read and pour through them all. Watch video below. And he has, personally, read about 140 of them. If you are interested in looking at them yourself, click here to go directly to the government website where they are located. Fitton went on to say. Bombshell. At least four of the documents were marked classified. These emails were found back in October of 2016 and it's now nearly the end of the year 2017 and we are finally getting them. The FBI sat on them for months. And then the State Department sat on them for another half a year or so. But they are a remarkable demonstration of why we have laws against the mishandling of classified information. We don't put material on unsecure systems. And if Anthony Weiner's laptop does not meet the definition of an unsecure system then I don't know what would. And for James Comey to suggest that Ms. Abedin didn't know what she was doing is bunk. So this secret server that Hillary Clinton set up, is the reason there is classified information that was put on Anthony Weiner's laptop. And anyone else would have been prosecuted. This is why the Justice Department needs to get its act together and reevaluate what James Comey did and what Loretta Lynch did in terms of giving Hillary Clinton a get out of jail free card. Tom Fitton, who is president of Judicial Watch, went on to say in the bombshell discovery interview that there were classified documents on sex offender Weiner's laptop and he believes that it was intentional and negligent, in the least. It was intentional in the sense that both Abedin and Clinton were warned repeatedly about the security implications of using non-secure devices to do government business. Another bombshell from Judicial Watch. The Clinton email scandal is not the only thing Judicial Watch is working on. Fitton also left this tweet today and a video about the Clinton-slash-Lynch tarmac meeting. Another bevy of great news.